So I'm teaching English First Peoples 11 this semester. Um, I'm teaching two blocks of it. In this course, we're still learning all the original components of any other English class and all the same skills, but we're doing it through a First Peoples perspective. So there's an emphasis on Indigenous literature, uh, poems, short stories, even music and movies. And we're encouraging students to think outside the box, past their personal views um, and perceptions of the world, to consider some other belief systems uh, that are important to Canadian society. I think any student that is interested in learning more about who they are and about uh, what is important to Canadians and the First Peoples whose land we learn upon. Um, I also think it's a good uh, course for students who are um, looking for some diverse perspectives and some new voices in their learning. Well, I think it's quite different in quite a few ways. In my class in particular, and I'm sure in other First Peoples classes, um, we do have quite an emphasis on the First Peoples principles of learning. Um, so in our class, uh, we're focusing on this idea that learning takes patience and time, and so students are encouraged to really honour and take time with their work and slow down the process at which they're thinking and writing um, to really engage with the materials. We're also focusing more on Indigenous literatures. So rather than the books and stories you're used to hearing from other courses, we're pulling out new voices, local voices, from Indigenous and First Peoples in our areas and beyond and globally to bring forth new perspectives. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Contemporary Indigenous Studies 12 is a global course that looks at Indigenous peoples from across the world. Uh, so we do start uh, looking at Indigenous uh, groups within Canada. Um, and it's because it is contemporary, it is like what is happening with Indigenous peoples and their relationship with colonizers, settler governments uh, in the world today. We are looking at current issues in terms of ensuring that um, the United Dec Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples is being recognized and ratified. So that means like, that it's signed and it's being becoming binding law. And you know, we in earlier social studies courses. And including on Orange Shirt Day, we as a school, we often talk about the truth and reconciliation piece and we heavily focus on the truth piece of residential schools. But we, in contemporary Indigenous studies, we look at um, the more about the reconciliation piece and the resiliency and the, uh, the many stakeholders who are involved in ensuring there's equity and equality for Indigenous peoples across all lands, not just in Canada. Uh, I think students should take this course because um, it makes me a little bit sad when we focus so much on Indigenous peoples in terms of the suffering that absolutely needs to be included, the impacts of residential schools, the reservation systems, loss of land, and all of the things that are tied to that. I really enjoy talking about the resilience piece, like one of the videos I showed the other day that was just like, the, the message was like, so the colonizer tried to assimilate and destroy Indigenous culture, but it's just like Indigenous peoples are still here and there's such a huge piece in moving forward, especially in, in dealing with things like climate change, for example. Right now we are covering land defenders, Indigenous peoples as land defenders. We're, um, we're doing a unit on um, Indigenous peoples of South America, particularly focusing on the, the rainforest. So, and then previously we did Indigenous peoples of um, Canada was the last unit that we did and focusing on the celebration piece. Like, you know, kids have learned about like potlatch, but they don't actually know what that looks like. And they are like, oh, Indigenous art, it's different, but they don't know what that looks like and the meaning behind it. And um, they, kids were able to learn about the creation stories and stuff like that. So the really looking more at the culture of it rather than um, just the impact. Um, students that are interested in law would probably really like this course. Students that are interested in um, protection of the environment would probably really like this course. Uh, students that um, may have taken social justice already and want to continue in studying in the in the liberal arts would really like this course yeah um, I just want to add that I'm, I'm really grateful for the opportunity to be teaching uh, contemporary indigenous studies 12 as a settler myself um, 